Hello, and welcome to High Fun Plays The Looker. Um, I'm not really sure what a looker is, but I hope they have a name. Oh, this is a nice little area. Kind of reminds me of The Witness. So let's, uh... So what's this? Kublai Khan received an ornate letter signed by Marco Polo. In Madrid, city of lost things, no item remains where it was set. If one drops his key in the dirt, he may never re-enter his home, and even if he manages to stoop and recover the key, he may rise to find a tulip garden where his house once stood. In complimentary fashion, things lost by others are forever turning up. A pocket watch on a coffee table, a fond memory in your recollection. I even know of a prince who turned up in a prison cell. When he appealed to the guards for his release, he failed to find the crown on his head. And when he was asked his name, he searched his thoughts, but could not find it. Indeed, the only hope now for the release of this prince of Spain is for you to send back 300 ducats for his release. Of course, he will reward you handsomely once he is out. Yours truly, Marco. Uh... Kublai Khan cocked an eyebrow and declared before his court, Hey everyone, looks like we're about to get ripped off by the guy who traded gold for paper. The court erupted in booming laughter. Italo Calvino, Invisible Cities 2, this time it's visible. Huh. Hint. You can do it. Say yes. Ha! Could you do this? Is the game that smart? Oh, that would have made me so happy. And if I ask for a hint, it'll probably just say, you can do it, again. Let's see. Let's find out, shall we? I believe in you. Open. Did you write this game? Because it's copying what you said. Through many births, I have wandered on and on, searching for, but never finding. Better deal than 0% APR on certified pre-owned vehicles. For trucks tougher than a drunk marine come to Mike's pre-owned. Where we do the things that get things done. That was hilarious. So, if we were to go cl What did I hear? Beep. E? Beep. Beep. It's a sound puzzle. All right, all right. I'll tell you my story. It was June the 8th, 1947, gray morning, slightly foggy. I had my own practice then, and I was living higher than a cosmonaut on a stepladder. My hints were subtle too, real subtle. Back then, they said, good old hint button. His hints could steal the tail off a weasel. Then they tossed me in the can. No what, no why, no how. And those were the mean times, when all the common sense in the world won't make a nickel to buy you a black coffee. I used a rope to tie my pants, and pants to tie my shoes. I may do the way a man does, until one day, after stealing the socks off a fireplace, I caught my own look in a puddle of bootleg rye and realized I had to do what I'd never done before. 
I gave myself a hint. So that's me. I was nothing but a downtown crumb who dreamed of being a whole sandwich. Now I'm just another sloppy Joe. Come back when you got something. Wow, that's... Oh, I don't like that. Let's... That's okay. I don't like this. It's dark. It's scary. Hello? Hello? Loss? Loss? What's it? What's it, precious? If we learned anything from unsound mind, precious, we know better than to just turn around, Lars. Do I take fall damage? No. Yeah. Oh boy. I guarantee we gotta see. Oh! <laughs> Imagine gravity is fractal, because light is just a wave and gravity is just a wave. So imagine there's a big piece of glass that splits up gravity like a prism, so that there's like blue gravity and yellow gravity, and then somebody gets hit by the red gravity, and it makes them super heavy, so they have super strength, but like, they're also really slow. And another guy gets hit by microwave gravity, so he's trying to zap everybody, and just when he's about to zap the main guy, we see a lady come out, and she turns out to be Ultraviolet Girl, and she has super speed, so she beats him. Thomas Pinchon, Gravity's Rainbow. Huh. It just needs more red, I think. No, try putting some more loops on it. I like it, but it's also kind of too red. You, a unique individual, have a particular request, which you voice in words that no one else is speaking at that instant. What if this classical event gets processed at a non-local level? The notion isn't far-fetched, because it uh, seems that the mind-body uh, link does consist uh, of like body uh, links uh, at the quantum level. Why did I do if that? If this is so, then any uh, thought, not just a prayer, mm, has quantum implications. Mm. Deepak Chopra, A Spiritual Mystery, Does God Listen to Prayers, Part 2. I got an achievement for that, called Why Did You Do That? I can tell you're trying to say something about capitalism, but do it with more loops. Further, we may see that the ship is religion, and the shipwright is Richard Dawkins. The crewmates are empiricism, and the barnacles are neoplatonism. And the captain of that ship was Albert Einstein. I mean, obviously. I mean, obviously that's what it was. Emotional damage! <laughs> that's funny. What? What if I aim like this? Oh, heck yeah, bud. Ooh! Snick! Snick! We got refreshments, start game, ponytail, thanks a lot, Mac edition, choice of beverage, orange juice, 
Crenapple Cider, Pink Lemonade, Chocolate Milk, Diet Chocolate Milk, Chocolate Milk Zero? Look at me. Here I am. Right where I belong. You know, I've made a maze myself. For my game. Ah, and look. What are the symbols? So I imagine this time you're supposed to go through the symbols as well as connect it. Yes. Oh, looky here. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Oh no. Is it forming what I think it's forming? The obelisk. The obelisk of knowledge. The obelisk of knowledge. The obelisk of knowledge. Schnell on Stones of reflection. Oh wait, it's a giant cop. Yeah. Like, I, I want to laugh, but I hurt at the same time. 